billions and 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 billions What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy S20 Unpacked event is right around the corner. We're less than two weeks away from the event and if you have noticed, the Galaxy S20 leaks and rumors have kinda slowed down in the past few days. The reason for that is of course we know literally everything there is to know about the handsets. Thankfully though, we have a few new information about the handsets today. Some of you were asking me that how is it possible that the Galaxy S20 can record 8K videos with just 12 megapixel camera? If you don't know already, the main camera on the S20 and S20 Plus is a 12 megapixel wide angle lens. You need at least 33 megapixel to record 8K videos. So what Samsung is doing is they're using the secondary 64 megapixel telephoto camera to record 8K videos. Usually smartphone companies use the telephoto camera to zoom in, but Samsung is not following the trend. They're doing something different this time. Also, Ice Universe says this 64 megapixel camera will be only used for zooming and 8K videos. The S20 and S20 Plus will have three times lossless zoom. This 64 megapixel camera is not an optical zoom lens, instead it just crops the image because it has a bunch of extra pixels. That doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing, this will help take better and steady 8K videos. Ice Universe also says that the 108 megapixel camera of the S20 Ultra takes images without any shutter delay and will also be able to turn on HDR automatically much like the Galaxy S10 series. Also, Max Weinbach reveals some other details about the S20 handsets. He says the haptic feedback on the S20 is better than the S10 but will be similar to the Galaxy Note 10. Samsung said a few months ago that the removal of the headphone jack helped them achieve a better haptic feedback. But I guess the actual reason is that the Note 10 has a bigger vibration motor compared to the S10 or Note 9. So it means the same Note 10's vibration motor has been used on the S20. And finally, the S20 family will have a pre-installed screen protector right out of the box, much like the Galaxy S10 and Note 10. Also, we have some more information about the Galaxy Buds Plus that will launch alongside the Galaxy S20. Previously, we learned that if you pre-order the S20 Plus and S20 Ultra, you'll get free Galaxy Buds Plus along with that. Of course, this offer will not be available to every country, and if you want to buy these new buds separately, then you'll need to pay $150. That's the same price the Galaxy Buds was launched last year. Plus, you're getting some improvements such as double the battery life, four microphones instead of two, and better adaptive noise isolation. Samsung will launch this alongside the Galaxy S20, which by the way is just right around the corner. For all the latest updates on the S20, do consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.